Chief Secretary for Administration of Hong Kong Special Administrative Region on stage to share a few words for our jump starters. Mr. Zheng, please. I kind of walk around like Jill. I will have to, to on my feet standing here. Because I'm a bureaucrat, basically, you know. <laughs> uh, Joe, Bernard, Dinah, Kenny, Raymond, William, Alan, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. After Joe's excellent uh, welcoming remarks, my speech will be pretty dry, I suppose. But uh, I hope I won't disappoint you because I'm going to give you a lot of exciting facts about what we are doing in Hong Kong. Uh, it gives me great pleasure this morning to join you all at the Jumpstart 2019. Uh, first of all, my warmest welcome to all entrepreneurs and investors with us today, especially those coming from overseas. My special thanks, of course, go to Alabama Hong Kong Entrepreneurs Fund and the various chambers of commerce for the successful launch of these prestigious platform for showcasing quality startups and providing high impact networking opportunities here. Jumpstart aims to build, empower, and boost Hong Kong's startup ecosystem and entrepreneurship by bringing entrepreneurs, corporates, investors, and the public together, helping to transform Hong Kong into a leading hub for global innovation and technology, INT. This echoes very well with the policy objective of the current term Hong Kong Special Administrative Region Government in developing an inspiring environment conducive to INT with a view to creating new industries and wealth, providing more employment for young people, promoting upward mobility, and improving people's livelihood. Capitalizing our advantages under one country two systems, strategic geographical location, our established robust legal system here, of course, protection for intellectual property, highly efficient financial platforms, and world-class universities. We have four of our universities amongst the world's top 100. Hong Kong has gained a solid footing in driving INT growth. Indeed, President Xi Jinping has openly indicated that Hong Kong is a solid science and technology foundation and a strong pool of quality technology talent and pledged to support the development of Hong Kong into an international INT hub. A very encouraging assurance. Looking forward, the development of the Guangdong, Hong Kong, Macau, Greater Bay Area and collaboration between Hong Kong and Shenzhen will connect the upstream, midstream and downstream sectors of innovation and technology industries, thereby developing an international INT hub in the Greater Bay Area. The immense synergy effects so generated will provide powerful support for Hong Kong's INT ecosystem to thrive. To propel our INT development forward in the past three years alone, let me say that the Hong Kong as our government has committed over 100 billion Hong Kong dollars, 100 billion Hong Kong dollars to boost research and development, develop state-of-the-art INT infrastructure, nurture INT talent pool, provide investment funding, and support measures to improve the ecosystem for startups as a whole. A vibrant startup environment plays a vital role in driving INT development in Hong Kong. Hong Kong's startup scene has experienced a phenomenal growth in recent years. We are ranked among the top five fastest growing startup ecosystems and one of the world's top 25 startup hubs. According to the latest survey results, there were over 2,600 startups in Hong Kong in the year 2018, last year, up by 18% over 2017. The number of people employed by startups also skyrocketed to 9,548, an increase of 51% over the previous year. This is also very heartening. The Hong Kong SL government is determined to transform Hong Kong in the leading global hub for innovation and entrepreneurship, where startups can use the city as a lab, a showcase, and of course, a global launch pad. We have introduced a series of measures to create a conducive ecosystem with state-of-the-art infrastructure and supporting facilities, heavy financial support, and a full range of supporting services to nurture startups throughout the journey from conceptualization to commercialization, 
thereby enabling them to develop their ideas and create revolutionary new tech products and services. Our two flagship INT institutions, namely the Hong Kong Science and Technology Parks Corporation, or the Science Park in short, and Cyberport, fuel the growth of IT startups by connecting all elements of the value chain from innovative thinking, research and development, creative design, to production. The Science Park offers three incubation programs targeted for startups in the fields of new technology, biomedical technology, and web and mobile technology. The Hong Kong is our government further provided additional allocation of 7 billion Hong Kong dollars to the Science Park to launch the enhanced incubation programs last October to strengthen support for its tenants in incubates. As for the Cyberport, it runs a number of programs to boost the growth of startups in Hong Kong, including the famous Cyberport Creative Microfund that provides funding for entrepreneurs to help them turn innovative ideas into prototypes, the Cyberport Incubation Program and the Cyberport Macro Fund, among others. Recently, Cyberport has launched the Overseas Mainland Market Development Support Scheme to provide financial support for Cyberport program graduates to explore new opportunities in markets on the mainland and places overseas. To encourage venture capital investment in local INT startups, we have introduced, we with the government, the 2 billion Hong Kong dollar innovation technology venture fund to attract private venture capital funds to co-invest with the Hong Kong government in local INT startups on an investment ratio of two to one, or one to two, sorry. In just seven months since the launch of the fund in last July, we have already partnered with six venture capital funds and started receiving their invitations. On pooling of technology talent, which is very important indeed, we've allocated 10 billion Hong Kong dollars to support the establishment of two research clusters on healthcare technologies and artificial intelligence and robotics technologies to attract the world's top scientific research institutions and technology enterprises to Hong Kong for conducting more midstream and downstream R&D projects in collaboration with local universities and scientific research institutions. Such clusters will pool and nurture more technology talent in Hong Kong. We've also launched the Technology Talent Admission Scheme last June to fast-track the admission of overseas and mainland talent in specific technology areas to participate in R&D work in Hong Kong. Last August, we further rolled out the Technology Talent Scheme to help nurture more INT talent in Hong Kong by heavily subsidizing eligible organizations to recruit postdoctoral talent for R&D work and training their staff in advanced technologies. Ladies and, ladies and gentlemen, the government's investment promotion agency, Invest Hong Kong, has launched the Start, the Start Me Up Hong Kong program since the year 2013 to attract innovative and scalable entrepreneurs to Hong Kong and promote Hong Kong as a premier startup destination. It also provides a one-stop one -serv one service platform to support startups and help build our ecosystem to transform Hong Kong into an attractive destination for entrepreneurs from around the world. The annual flagship event, the Start, Start Me Up Hong Kong Festival, attracted over 6,000 participants last year. This year, the festival is also held this week, as you all know, starting from this Monday until 29th January. Today's Jumpstart event, for sure, is a highlight, an icon for this festive week. However, government's efforts alone are never enough. We need support of the industries and practitioners like Alabama to join hands to help cultivate a fertile ground for startups in Hong Kong to jumpstart and stand amongst the world's best. I'm most pleased, therefore, to learn that Alabama Hong Kong Entrepreneurs Fund is providing enormous support to startups through various schemes and incubation programs. I'm most appreciative, Joe, on that score. On this note, ladies and gentlemen, I wish the Jumpstart 2019 and Start Me Up Hong Kong Festival a tremendous success this year. And for guests from overseas, a pleasant and fun stay in Hong Kong. Do take time to see a bit of Hong Kong and do some shopping to boost our economy here. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Zheng. Please be seated. Thank you, Mr. Zheng. Please be seated.